A quiet evening turning into a family's worst nightmare. Mama, please come, come now, Mama. Mama, my Kanaya's been shot. A wow, that had to have been a rough call, man. That had to have been a rough call, man. So many... So much tragedy and heartbreak in this community. Gosh. And so many women. Jeez, Christ. I was the first one to notice this, man. If you look back at my videos from three, four years ago, I was the first one to notice, my God, a lot of women in the stand are getting, like, Hit one if you've been around for a while. And, you know, not to toot my horn, but, I mean, I did a lot of videos. So, I mean, I should have noticed it. I mean, I'm 8,000 videos deep into my YouTube career. But I, I would always be like, my God. And the way they died, it wasn't like normal domestic. or They were like just, like, like gangbangers or gangsters would die or, you know, like <laughs> mafioso types would die. These are like street land, gang land murders that these sisters die in. And they're not, most of the time, they're not even involved in the situation. They're just proximity to the stand, proximity to sun men that, that, is, that, that causes their death. A quiet evening turning into a family's worst nightmare. Mama, please come, come now, Mama. Mama, my Kanaya's been shot. According to the Hines County Sheriff's Office, 20-year-old Kanaya Jones was shot in the head while sitting in her car at the driveway of her own home. Uh, this girl was shot in the head while sitting in the car, in her car, in the driveway of her own home. Jesus Christ. And ain't had nothing to do with nothing. Just this, this is this is the stand, man. And I'm sure sis here was wokey woke woke woke. But still, like, this one right here, I, I still feel bad for her, but she's sitting in her car, in her driveway. Some fools come up dumping at somebody. One of the bullets finds her, and she's dead. Boom. It's over. Hey. Jeez. According to the Hines County Sheriff's Office, 20-year-old Kanaya Jones was shot in the head while sitting in her car at the driveway of her own home. I kneeled down to my granddaughter. I said, you love me, Kanaya. I know you love me. Please do not move anymore. Let's just stay calm. Her grandmother, panicking at the time, describes how Jones showed great bravery the moment the bullet hit her. She started blowing the horn to get someone attention. The drive-by happening in a small and quiet place with only one road in and out of the neighborhood. The family unsure of how to feel, with the shooter still being on the loose. They're everywhere. Y'all think I'm playing when I say that. Sun men are everywhere. And this is just a byproduct. This is what comes with them. This is like birds. You're going to have bird poop. Like my cars, for some reason, the, the, the birds congregate right o on the power line, right over my car. I got to get my car washed at least like once a week. Because birds come with bird poop, man. That's how it, that's that that's that's how it works, man. You got a lot of birds, you gonna have a lot of bird poop. You got a lot of sun men, you gonna have a lot of bullets just randomly flying all over the place. I'm not sure if do I still feel safe? Will he come back? You know, it just it's a feeling that I can't really describe. Bullet markings punched into the mobile home still lingering while Jones remains in the ICU. Fortunately, this woman survived. Fortunately, 
Um, up until this point, this woman has survived, which is fortunate. Most, many sisters aren't so fortunate, but good for her, man. Bullet markings punched into the mobile home still lingering while Jones remains in the ICU. She's alert and she's woke, but as of right now, it's like she's coming, going in and out. In Jackson, Michaela Franklin, 16, WAPT News. And we begin with that breaking news tonight. Another deadly shooting in D.C. A woman shot and killed while sitting inside of a car. And police tell us two kids were also in that car with her. Thank you for being here with us. I'm Lorenzo Hall. Now, fortunately, those kids were not injured, but... This is certainly a night they will never forget. That shooting happened in Northeast on Benning Road near 18th Street, not far from the Heckinger Mall site. Our right, John Henry is live from D.C. Police Headquarters tonight. And John, what are you learning about this? Well, right now, police are still searching for those people who uh, were responsible for this killing that put those two kids in harm's way. In Medic 10, Engine 10 responding for a shooting. The district's 30th homicide of the year occurred around 6 p.m. Medic 10, keep your progress. Police say a woman in her car was gunned down on the 1800 block of Binning Road Northeast. Luckily, officers said the two kids inside the car with her were not hurt. But the two killers would get away, running off westbound toward Gales Street Northeast. I'm so concerned about this. The violent scene left an impression on this man. He did not want to be named, but he has children of his own. He told us he couldn't understand why someone would put kids in danger. I'm not exempt from the gunfire. My children are not exempt from the gunfire. You know, they could easily, they could easily been them or, or even myself. Unfortunately, this is not the first time something like this has happened in this neighborhood. A little over a year ago, a man was shot and killed two blocks down the street from here on Benning while his baby was in the backseat of his car. Res <laughs> and I wasn't even thinking about this guy who died last year like that. I was thinking about the woman who was killed a few months ago like this <laughs> in D.C. Like, literally just a few months ago. Same exact way as this woman with her kids in the car. I mean, I'm speechless, man. And this neighborhood, I'm, I'm very familiar with this neighborhood, man. Um, Happen Jamal. Rosedale area, Carver Langston, Trinidad, all that stuff is just around there. Greater Northeast. I've walked these these streets hundreds of times. This is one city that these three incidents where people just been driving in their cars, some people just driving in their cars, and a bullet hits them. Some people shoot. And they're dead in front of their kid. And I'm telling you, man, it's not even that deep. It's no conspiracy. It's just some fools were shooting at somebody. Like some, some little fool was walking down the street, saw his op, pulled out his gun, started firing across the street at his ops. His op being fired back. They're having a gun battle like across the streets or whatever. And somebody two blocks away gets hit with a bullet. And they just dead. Boom. This is the stand. The majority of the people, of the sisters too, if you want to just focus on sisters that die, they die from either a person that they never met in life kills them. 
And that's the tragic thing about the stand. It's a person you never met. A bullet from a person that never even saw you. Like the person who shot the bullet never even saw you before. You're lucky. Most, If the person just encounters you, like a robbery or carjacking, they just encounter you and they kill you. These cases, the person just driving down the street. There's some random gun battle in his vicinity or her vicinity. And boom, she's dead. Boom, he's dead. Right. A little over a year ago, a man was shot and killed two blocks down the street from here on Benning while his baby was in the backseat of his car. Residents just want the violence to stop. And I was coming up, you know what I'm saying, we kind of fought with our hands, you know. But now, you know, people are just taking children. That's a whole lie. This guy's probably a little bit older to be. That's a whole lie. Some people need to stop saying that. Okay, if when older people used to say that in the 80s, all right, cool. Then old heads kind of said it in the 90s. Then old heads started saying it in the 2000s. Now it's 2022 and you got people in their 40s talking about something. In my day, we used to fight. It's a whole lie. This neighborhood right here, was murder central, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 2000, 2001, 2002. This was, this area right here, this is a rough spot, Jack. Um, All, everything around it. Like, you can look at, you can point in any direction. If you're standing right where he's standing, and it's rough, Jack. Okay, full of little shooters, little young shooters. It's it's rough around there, Jack. Okay? And it goes down. And it been like that for 40 some odd years, man. I don't know why this guy would say that, but other than just that's what old heads say. That's how old men talk. Man, my day, my day, we we walked 10 miles to school. No, 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 man. There was never, this neighborhood has been on fire for 40 years. You get your cap peeled over here back in the 80s, Jack, quick. When I was coming up, you know what I'm saying, we kind of fought with our hands, you know. But now, you know, people are just taking children and women out of hand like they have no remorse about children and women at all. Now, at this moment, it is unclear whether that woman was the mother of those two children in the car. One more thing, Lorenzo. We looked at police data regarding that stretch of Binning Road. A matter of fact, the two-block radius around that road, and it shows year to date there have been five violent crimes in that area involving either guns or knives. Yeah, we know D.C. has this big new crime initiative to prevent violent crime primarily east of the river. Sounds like they need to focus on that stretch of road as well. John, thank you so much.